It was the question on everyone's mind when President Obama's budget landed on Thursday. What was the impact going to be on taxes and who was going to bear the disproportionate impact? It turns out that those who are most affluent are going to bear the biggest brunt of this. So let's start there. If you make $200,000 and are single, or if you earn $250,000 or more and you filed your taxes jointly with your spouse, you're likely to bear the biggest brunt here. It's going to happen in a number of ways. First of all, the tax brackets are going to change slightly, change slightly so that you're paying a higher tax rate. Uh, as far as capital gains go, the long-term rate is going to increase from 15 to 20 percent with this proposal. If you work for a private equity firm, uh, your, many of your earnings now are going to be at the uh, more expensive uh, regular ordinary income rate and no longer at the capital gains rate. Deductions get affected too. You're going to get a little bit less credit on the deduction front uh, for mortgages and for charitable deductions and other itemized deductions as well. So there are a number of ways that you're potentially impacted. If you're of a more moderate income, say between $75,000 and $200,000 in household income, there are a couple of advantages here. Uh, there's an expanded credit for college students, uh, up to $4,000 in tuition spending that comes back to you in the form of a $2,500 uh, credit, which is partially refundable. So that's an improvement on what existed before. There's also what's called the Making Work Pay credit. Uh, that's either $400 if you're single or $800 if you're married and finally filing jointly up to a certain an income cap. Now, if you're lower income, probably the best news here comes in something that's being referred to alternatively as the automatic IRA or the universal savings account. What's going to happen here if the proposal goes through is that employers who do not currently offer a retirement plan like a 401k, if they have more than 10 employees, they're going to have to start offering one now. And the way that it'll work is through payroll deduction, where you'll be automatically signed up to have a little bit of your salary siphoned off into an IRA. Uh, that'll probably go into something like a target date retirement fund. Uh, you know, so if you don't want to participate, you'll have to sort of take some affirmative action and opt out. Uh, there'll also be a tax credit here that goes into the account. Effectively, it's a match on your savings of up to 50% for $1,000 in savings per year. So it's sort of like working for an employer that has an employee match. So that's probably the best news for folks in the lower income range. Now again, we have to remember that these are just proposals. There's going to be a fair amount of haggling in Congress over this. But right now, it appears as if the affluent are going to pay more. Whether it's more than their fair share, of course, is a question for the ages. I'm Ron Lieber for The New York Times.